Now, for water hyacinth, basically the it is a floating water plant. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing the, the top view because I'm using my handphone as my um, other screen. So you can see that the it is having the swollen leaf stalk. So these parts are the swollen leaf stalk. And then this, these parts are the leaf itself. Okay, so these parts are the leaf itself. Now, then of course, usually I will switch to this because that's when I will hold up my water hyacinth and underneath are the roots. So when the plant is floating above the water, the plant will be floating like this. So let's say my water, my water will be this, right? Is as my plastic container is the water, the floating water plant will be floating above the water like this. But the roots basically will just go inside the water and then uh, absorb the water from there. Clear? Yeah? So two things I want to show you today. First thing is the leaves. Now the leaves itself is waterproof. Okay, is is a uh, waxy, waxy. So it is actually quite waterproof. And then after that, I will open up one of the leaf stock for you to see what is inside. So switching back to my other one again. So now the first thing that I want to do is the water test. So I'm using a syringe with water. Okay. Just not gonna do. Okay, never mind. So what I will do is I have to. Hey, sorry, yeah. Let me just kick my phone. What I want you to see is looking at one of the leaves, right? So if the leaf is here and my water is just flowing down from rain or if water splashes from the lake or pond, the water will just drip down the leaf very easily because it is basically having waxy surfaces. Okay, so I shake it a bit, the water, Basically, waterproof, very waterproof. Okay, so that's the one of the adaptation that such water plants actually have. They actually have the. Can you like remove the way surface, the waxy surface? Uh, no, the waxy surface is part of the leaf cells. So if you have to remove the so called the waterproof surface, you are destroying the leaf. Already. Clear. So it's actually part of the leaf. Yeah, so over here, waxy leaves, no matter how much water I put, the water will just flow down. Okay, and the water will not be absorbed into the leaf. Yeah, All right, so that's one. Next one, using my scissors. Is, is the leaf easy to tear? Yeah, it still can be torn, definitely. So you can see some of the uh, leaves are already especially the ones that are turning brown once they are turning brown so you can see you can still see that they are actually torn in a way okay so what i'll do is that i'll be actually taking one of the older leaf stock below okay so i'll be pinching this off and usually i do this by turning the leaf stock does it have any fruits yes but the we don't see the fruits as in edible fruits. Water hyacinth, they actually have purple flowers. So sometimes if you are at the right season, right time, you can actually see the purple flowers. Okay, so now I've taken out, twisted out the leaf stalk. Uh, no, okay, the waxy surface doesn't decrease the amount of carbon dioxide taken in by the plant. Okay, it doesn't do that. Because they still have their stomata, and their stomata is not... Uh, covered by the waxy surface. Set leaf, yes, that's why I purposely take a leaf that is already very set so I can make it sadder by pinching it off. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to cut the leaf stock. Okay, and we are going to see what is on the inside. Because it's what is on the inside of the leaf stock that enables the water hyacinth to actually float. Looks like onion. No, like it's actually mostly green. It's actually green. Just that this one is a bit old. The leaf leaf is a bit old. That's why the color is changing. Okay, so cutting through. Wait, I must bring my mic near so that you can hear the sound. And you all hear some, something? Yes, right. Is it very hard to cut? No. It's basically like cutting, uh, cutting maybe a, a layer of bubble wrap. So when you're cutting a layer of bubble wrap, right? What is inside the... You know, where's my direction? Here. Okay, and I try to zoom. Focus. So what you see on the inside is actually a lot of air gaps, like a sponge. So when you open it up, you can see a lot of holes in it because these holes are the ones that trap the air. So this acts very much like a sponge. And when they use this like a sponge, that's when it can trap air and cause it to float. Is it edible? Uh, no, Gail, not edible. But recently, I actually saw a news in India. Now, India, there are many places that are very poor. And some of the girls over there, when they have their menses, when they have their uh, monthly period, they, are the, they don't have anything to absorb the discharge. Okay, like what we have in Singapore, we can easily go and uh, buy our sanitary napkins and can actually store the discharge, uh, absorb the discharge. So what some inventors they did, they actually collected all this water hyacinth and dry them and make them into disposable sanitary napkins using water hyacinth. Okay, so yes, Gail, uh, in a way you can, that's when you can actually use it partially like a sprung, uh, sponge. But uh, because water hyacinth generally, they are not so big. So, and you can't really use them a lot. Now, if you want to use sponge, there's actually another plant that you can uh, use it as a sponge. And that is actually the lufa. Okay, that's the lufa, but I don't have time to show you today. You can go and Google on the lufa and how they actually use the lufa to make into sponges, natural sponges. Clear? Okay. So